it's been sort of 14, 15 years for some of us involved in it since this was first mentioned. A lot of people say to you day in and day out, is it ever going to happen? And to stand here today and say it's happening is just brilliant for everybody, for the club, for the fans, just for everybody and for the city of York because it is a really great stadium and a really great project. What does it mean for the football club in particular? Oh, an awful lot. We, we've going forward for the future. Um, it's so exciting to be into a new stadium and a stadium that's really quite unique in its style and, and design. Um, but it's much more than that. It's, uh, it's the ability to create additional income, the facilities. I mean, the facilities at Bulldog Crescent, bless it, it's a wonderful place for, since 1932, but its facilities are completely outdated. And it's not just for the, for the players, the changing rooms, but for the public, the disability access and all that's really fantastic. We'll be fantastic in here, uh, families, the fan zone, there are so many exciting things about it. And income generation, additional income generation from the conferencing facilities and all the other facilities in a modern stadium. It's just everything. Oh, dare I say, it's the real game changer. Absolutely, undoubtedly, yes. I mean, it's taken a long time to get here. Has that, has that been a problem for yourselves in preparing for this? Because it's summer uh, 2019 now, we're expecting it. Yeah, I think it's, to be fair, been difficult for the club over the years, uh, particularly for the chairman. I mean, you know, there's no denying it. It's cost a lot of money, whereas here it should be uh, much more uh, financially viable. Um, so, yes, all sorts of problems. Uh, but, uh, you know, like all things, it's in the past. We've got through it. We've come through in the end. Let's look forward now. All that's behind us. That's going to be 18 months or so. This is going to be up and and finished, so it's fantastic. Do you, do you expect to be playing here at the beginning of the 1920 season? Yes. So that's your target? That's right? the target, yes. Yeah, I think it's due for, construction-wise, I think it's due for completion, sort of May, June time, and then it's got to be licensed, so it's ready, the target is for the pre-season, and that's important. I mean, there's, there's, there's income to generate from the club of leaving Bowdoin Crescent and, and coming into a new stadium, so there's lots of work to do on that side of things as well. And do you think you're able to catch the atmosphere you've got at Bowdoin Crescent here as well? You've created that atmosphere here? That's the toughest thing of all, isn't it? Uh, I hope so. It's a lovely looking stadium, and I'm sure that we will. Um, it's a bit special at Bowdoin Crescent, you know, looking across with, on an evening with the sun setting and the trees behind it. I mean, not have that, but it'll have all its own. I mean, think of the entrance across the sort of piazza, you know, it's just fabulous. And the financial side of things, as you say, that, that, that puts the club on a more level footing, doesn't it? Hugely important, yeah. Hugely important for, for, for the club, I mean, to progress. I know we're at the moment with, you know, we're in a lower league than we hope to, we hope to progress through. And the more you progress, the more it costs as well. So, yeah, having a great stadium like this, I think, will be hugely important to us. And, I suppose it's and a real motivator for the, for the whole club, for the players, the team, the manager, the whole club, a real motivator to be coming into a brand new stadium. And I suppose the incentive of a brand new stadium is to get higher up the division. Absolutely, yes, exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, was there ever a day when you thought, I'm never ever going to see this? Is that a key? Uh, must have some doubts. Hand on heart. Had some doubts at one or two points, but every, I kept, everybody asked me and I kept having to say, no, no, it's going to happen, it's just lots of difficulties, but it did. The council probably hit every problem you could on the way through this scheme, so it's never easy. Uh, it's a big scheme and, and a fantastic scheme. Summer 2019. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well. That would be great. Yeah. And what happens to the present? Uh, well, Brutham Crescent is optioned to Persimmon Homes. That was part of the deal when Jason, the chairman, uh, did a great job in buying it back, remember? That seems a long time ago now, but that was absolutely wouldn't have been a club if, we hadn't, if Jason hadn't have been able to negotiate that deal, which included an option to Persimmon Homes. So that's all in hand now. That discussion is now to take place on going forward. So. The entrance to this stadium will be directly in front of my and further back where those piles of rubble are. And that will be the entrance, roughly the entrance into the stadium, the cinema and the and the cinema and 
the commercial workwood pit to the to the left there and to the right the main entrances and through round the swimming pool and everything all goes around that moment so the pitch will be beyond some buildings in front of us and beyond that roughly where that big mound of uh, spoilers at the moment. It must be quite emotional to imagine what it's going to be like after all we've been through. It is very emotional <laughs> and, uh, and it, I didn't think it would be a day like this but it is this morning. It is to actually see them starting. Whilst that's not actually the site they're working on is, is where the all weather pitches will go but uh, um, they've started, the contractors and everybody seems really positive about it. Yes. Good morning, I'm Councillor David Carr. I am the City of York uh, Council Leader. How significant today is this for the City of York? This is a tremendously significant day. This is a red letter day for, for York uh, and for its residents to actually see work starting on site at this long awaited major project is, is indeed a day for celebration. There have been some difficult times on the way. Is it a day that you ever doubted you might see? I think some people have thought that this day would never arrive and of course you don't do a major project like this with a whole range of uh, space in it uh, and, and facilities in it. You don't do something like this overnight. Uh, there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Uh, we've been uh, talking about it for quite a number of years. We've had a number of false dawns and false starts but I'm delighted to be standing here today seeing these excavators on site starting the construction of this long awaited project. How quickly do you expect things to develop from this point? I think by spring 2019 we should have practical completion and I think that will again be a great day for celebration and I'm looking forward to that with uh, tremendous enthusiasm.